Fix your hair, man. It's, it's very yeah. cool. Thanks. All right. Now I'm stuck. Oh, I don't remember this. I'm going to put my back. Such a Got a little Genesis for you right now. <laughs> how I wish Mike could tell us about some of the people in his life, but he can't. On March 22nd, 2008, Michael Ford Neal passed away. Hello, I'm the other Sean in Mike's life. I'm his older brother. I would like to start off tonight by saying thank you for showing up tonight to honor my little brother. I know he would have been blown away. So, for the next 20 minutes or so, allow me to take you through the life of a true shooting star. I was four years old when Mike came into my life. He was named after the song, Michael, Row Your Boat Ashore. And from the start, I knew there was something special about him. I mean, this guy had his very own pet crow that would follow him everywhere. He was always going out of his way to bring a smile to everyone's face. As far as sports, Mike loved hockey as a kid. I'll always remember the smile on his face when he met his idol, Bobby Hull. But when Mike was 13, he got really sick, and the family got the bad news. Mike had a very bad case of advanced juvenile diabetes, and the doctor said he wouldn't live past 21. Mike being Mike, smiled and traded in his hockey sticks for a guitar, and the rest is history. You know part of the deal to buy the guitar was three months of free lessons? After the three months were up, our mom went to the store to pay for more lessons, and the teacher refused to take her money. He told her that Mike was beyond his teachings and needed private lessons. See, what mom didn't know was that Mike had already self-taught himself how to play every song on his Best of the Bread album. Yeah, it's out. Mike was a closet bread fan. After that, it was on to play with bands like Rocks, Simple Dots, Station 30, Shishuma, Little Sister, Border Snakes, and many, many others. All along the way, working on his solo stuff, which is playing in the background. <laughs> 